Write the secant of the arctangent of 4x in algebraic form. Solution. In these types of problems, what you always want to do is call this inner piece theta. So we'll let theta be equal to the arctan of 4x. So if the arctan takes 4x and gives you theta, then the tangent takes theta and gives you back 4x, right? They're inverse functions. So if the inverse tan, that's arctan, if the inverse tan takes 4x and gives you theta, then the tangent function takes theta and gives you back 4x. So tangent of theta is 4x. Now recall, so ka toa. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. So what we'll do is we'll write this as 4x over 1, and this is opposite over adjacent. And now we'll draw a triangle. So there's our triangle. And here's theta. And so the opposite will be 4x, and the adjacent will be 1. And so we'll call this c, and now we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So c squared is equal to 1 squared plus 4x squared. So c is equal to the square root of 1 plus, well, 4x squared is 16 x squared. You square the 4 and you square the x. So this is equal to the square root of 1 plus 16x squared. I like to fill out my triangle. Actually go back and write in the value of c. And now we're actually almost done. So finally, the secant of the arctan of 4x this is equal to, well, arctangent of 4x is theta. This is the secant of theta. And secant is 1 over cosine. So instead of ka, it's ha. So it's hypotenuse over adjacent. So the hypotenuse is c. So it's the square root of 1 plus 16x squared over the adjacent, which is 1. So this is equal to the square root of 1 plus... 16x squared. And that's the final answer. So to recap, step one, call this theta. Step two, rewrite it. Think of this, draw a triangle, fill in the triangle. And the final step, just go back, write down what you started with. Keep in mind that this is now your theta. And then use the triangle to rewrite secant of theta. And that's it.